Good afternoon. Today's video is 77 Anderson Street, Warwicknabeel, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $230,000. This is a three bedroom, one bathroom home that's had aluminium clad. Uh, it was colour bond, the colour bond's faded a little bit up there. Uh, really neat cottage style garden, double carport with a shed down the back and rear lane access. It's really close to the primary school and behind the primary school is going to be a brand new high school. Very soon the kindergarten's also at the back there and St Mary's Primary School is only a short walk away too. Anzac Park's about a block and a half behind us which is the town sporting precinct and uh, it's only well, probably 10-15 minute walk down to the street, not very far at all. So we'll go and check it out and uh, see what you think. So I've just stepped inside the front door and we've got laminate flooring and uh, come around to the left we've got a bedroom the ceilings have been lowered the original ceilings are still up there but they were lowered uh, some time ago and there's a big wall of built-in cupboards there good floor coverings back into the passage across the passage to another bedroom once again lowered ceilings Oop. and more built-in cupboards. If you fill these cupboards, you've got too many clothes. Come into the lounge room. It's a pretty warm day outside. There's a nice split system going there. There is a glass sliding door that opens up into a little courtyard area. Once again, we've got the floating floor, continues the theme on. Another bedroom, this is bedroom number three. Slow at ceilings, ceiling fan in this room. And the uh, built-in robes. That window overlooks the carport. And floating floor. Heading towards the back of the house. We've come to the kitchen. Got a ceiling fan. Spot for the fridge. Utility cupboard, microwave hutch. Good bench, man, a bench space. The electric side by side. Once upon a time, there would have been a wood stove in there many years ago. The sink with a rainwater tap. Skylight. Keep going, we come to the bathroom. So we've got a shower, vanity, and cupboard space. Cupboard space galore. And mirrors, too many mirrors for my liking, but anyway. Bench trough, we've stepped through the bathroom into the laundry. Built in cupboard and the toilet, and a spot to keep the ironing board. The IXL up there, a skylight as well. Stepped out, this would have been a veranda once upon a time, but it's a craft room. All the ladies that like her craft, have a look at this for a setup. It's got its own little inverter AC up there. It's a bit neater kept than my mum's craft room, that's for sure. There's um, kitchen carpet here on the floor. If I talk and open the door at the same time, this is the an office or a junk room. The owner might be too happy about me showing you this room, but uh, anyway, this is where the excess stuff goes. 
but make a good office. Back through that door into the lounge. So I've just stepped outside the back door. We've come to the bit of a pergola area. Someone like laying bricks. There is thousands of them. There's the shed. That goes through to the carport. There's gates there that open up to allow you to access the shed. Uh, I've got shade cloth, steel frame, heat pump hot water. It's a beautiful cottage garden. So I've just stepped inside an original old shed. It's been used as a workshop or a storeroom. I'm just showing you the lining boards. It's pretty old, but uh, in good nick. The floor's good. Next door to the old shed is the original toilet. This is in pretty good nick too. The ladies won't mind coming out here to this one. Doesn't look like there's any redbacks. Just showing you the back of the house and the back of the pergola and all the bricks. Back, back, we'll show you. Another little storage shed. There's a rainwater tank there. It's for all the gardening stuff. We're on the back of that old workshop at the moment. You can see in the backyard there's fruit trees. Shaded veggie patch. There's a garden shed down the back corner. I have a few fans that watch these videos that like their hills hoist. Well, this is a bit of a Different clothesline, this one, but it works very, very well. So no hills hoist, but plenty of room to hang all the clothes on. Just stepped inside the shed. It's a steel frame shed. Probably about 10, 15 years old. Got a concrete floor. The roller door there behind those the fridge and the ladders. So it's just been used as a workshop. Really good shed. I'm just down behind the shed now, just showing you the veggie garden. There's the uh, gates to give you access into the lane. I'll try my hardest to show you what the lane looks like. There you go. Uh, the gardener's coming to pick all that rubbish up. That won't be there. Another tank, little hot house. As I said, there's a garden shed over there. We'll just go for a bit of a walk around the north side of the house. The house has been clad in steel, if I didn't say that earlier. Got some filters on the rainwater tanks. So low maintenance, even colour bond fascias. As I said, brick paving. Anyone that's done it will appreciate uh, all the work involved in uh, laying all these bricks. So the cottage style garden. We're back around the front. Concrete veranda. The garden has been a labour of love for the current owner. But uh, time to hand it on to somebody else. So we've got a double carport. That opened up into the pergola. There's the inverter. There is solar panels on the roof. And the carport's all steel framed. So, emu wire front fence and the old style gates. So, 
So this is 77 Anderson Street, Warrantonville, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $230,000. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, an office, double carport, garage, rear access, all on about a thousand square metres of land, close to the schools, kindergarten, and not too far from Anzac Park and the main street. If you'd like any more information on this property, you can contact myself, John Hadley, on 0428 560 630. Thank you for watching my video.